TikTok earlier this week and came across a video of a girl talking about how she believed that if you screenshot everything that you are dysregulated as an ADHDer. And I was like, what? I have been screenshotting things for 10 plus years. And yes, I'm probably dysregulated, but I don't see it as like a shaming tool. Like, why are you shaming people for screenshotting when for me, it's a tool that I actually use and work on. So I thought I would kind of, like I got really upset about this cause I was like, man, I am a screenshot queen. Why are you making this seem like a bad thing? Um, and so I wanted to talk about the power of screenshotting, why it works for my ADHD brain, why it shouldn't be something shameful and used to sell a, a service, as well as how I organize my screenshots. Because to me, if you screenshot correct, she talked about correctly, that like if you don't look at them again, yeah, that's not worth anything. But for me, I actually use my screenshots. So I really wanna talk about how I use them effectively and how to organize them. Um, as a digital organization content creator, I talk about this a lot with Google Photos and Notion and how to organize all the content that you're collecting over time. I wanna talk about that a little bit today in today's video. So make sure to subscribe for more content. I have more videos about ADHD, Notion, lots of different tools. So make sure to subscribe for more and let's get into it. Okay, so let's start with what screenshotting means or what I screenshot. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm a constant consumer of information on the internet. I love reading articles or going down rabbit holes or scrolling Facebook comments or Reddit comments. And sometimes there'll be something that comes across that I'm like, wow, that's really helpful information. For me, the fastest and quickest way to, instead of copying and pasting that information is I'll just click the two sides of my or camera screen and take a screenshot. What I also do after that is every day I go in and open up Google Photos and it will automatically upload all of my screenshots to Google Photos. I also do the same thing on my computer. I can do, it's called Command Shift 4 and I can take a screenshot of my computer screen. It adds it to the desktop and then I also upload that to Google Photos later in the week. So what I do is I have created this huge complex gallery full of screenshots. So a lot of people, what they don't do is look back at them. However, I make it a point to go through every month and go back and look at my screenshots and then add them to folders. One of the things I love about Google Photos is you can actually search as well. So one of the reasons why I like screenshotting um, is that I can search the terms that are being screenshot. So if I'm screenshotting a bunch of text, I can search those terms on Google Photos and it will show every single screenshot I've ever taken about that topic. So for example, one of the topics I'm um, looking into right now is the MTHFR gene, which I'm gonna be doing a video on in the future. But I've been going down rabbit holes, Reddit, Facebook, all sorts of things, screenshotting everything. And I'm actually working on creating a guide um, that I'm gonna be having on, my, it's gonna be like a notion guide for the MTHFR gene. So what I'm doing is I'm gathering a bunch of information that I find interesting from different sources and using it as almost like a way to create a resource guide. So for me, I'm using screenshots as a second brain of information. Now. I don't know if you've done this, but I have spent the last 10 years doing it and I have a lot of screenshots. When she said 10,000, I'm like, I probably have more than that. It's almost like my own per personal Pinterest account within my Google Photos. So for me, it's not because I'm dysregulated, it's because I actually want to remember the things that I see. Because I don't know about you, but as an ADHDer, I don't have the best memory. I don't have a great memory long-term of the things that I screenshotted. There'll be things that stand out for sure, but I often want to remember the thing that I've screenshotted. So for me, I use screenshots as a memory tool um, for myself more than anything. However, there are some caveats to this and we can talk about that a little bit. Obviously, you don't wanna screenshot everything. I think that's what she was trying to say in the video. And I agree with that. I only screenshot things that are important that I haven't seen anywhere else that I know I'm going to look at or reference again. Another thing I do is also, I also like to download images. So from Twitter or from LinkedIn that I find interesting. Um, and it's funny because sometimes I'll download it and then find out that I downloaded it again six months later. So it must've stood out to me for some reason. One thing that's important is to figure out what is worth saving. For you, is it a, recipe. Sometimes I'll save a recipe from Facebook. I've recently gone gluten-free, so I've been screenshotting a bunch of different things about being gluten-free. Then what I can do is once they're uploaded to Google Photos, I just search gluten-free and it shows 
all of those things that had the word gluten-free in the image. Then what I do is I just select all of them, add them to a folder, and now I have an easy way to go through and find all of those again. So especially when I'm creating a recipe guide or something, I can go through and be like, what? gluten-free items have I screenshotted and that sort of thing. Another thing I also do is I do save a lot of TikTok videos. So I will save, I will actually download TikTok videos. It will be the exact same process. It will upload it to Google Photos. That one's not as searchable, but sometimes I'll go back and watch the TikToks I I saved and then figure out which folder they go into. Now, obviously there's some where you may have accidentally screenshotted. You're gonna wanna go through and delete those. But for me, I would consider myself a digital hoarder in the sense that I don't always like to delete items. I also don't like to delete photos very much. So what I have to do in order to combat that is to create systems for myself in terms of folders, in terms of organization, and in terms of how I how I just have a system. Basically the first thing that you have to do is you have to choose an app to put them in. I recommend Google Photos over Apple Photos. I think it has so much more capabilities. So I have them all in one account. I don't have multiple Google Folders, uh, Photos accounts, I just have one. So it's both business and life. And then what I've done, and if you've seen some of my other Google Photos videos, I have created um, a system using albums. So I have created my 13 pillar system, which if you want to go to johnredfield.com forward slash 13 dash pillars, you can learn more about the 13 pillars system. But what I do with that is then I create an album. Basically, if it gets over a couple hundred photos, I like to create a new album because that gets to be too many. So what I do is I kind of base it off of generally what I want the topic to be. So you can kind of see here, I'll show you guys some examples as I scroll through my Google Photos, but I really like to go through and walk through uh, all of the different things that I would ever think of that I would need an album for. So for example, within the health and fitness area, you can see that I have different things. I have things like essential oils or breakfast. I've got things like posture exercises. I've got things like my hormone cycle. I have saved so many different things that over the years I just would have forgotten otherwise. And for me, I don't always have the time to copy and paste everything into Notion. So I use Google Photos as a second brain for a lot of images and a lot of information. For me, this is just something that I have found works for me. And whenever I tell people about it, they're always fascinated by it because they're like, oh my gosh, I have so many screenshots or, oh my gosh, I wanna use Google Photos more effectively. This is what I have found works for my brain. And I just wanted to share if you are looking for a system for all your screenshots as well. Again, if you don't know my 13 pillars, I recommend going back and watching those videos. But one of the things that I have is with Google Photos, unfortunately there aren't uh, folders within folders, which is probably my biggest gripe with Google Photos. I find that what I do is I use the colon feature. So I do the pillar, I type out the pillar name with a colon and then put whatever the topic of the folder is. That way it still organizes it alphabetically by pillar and I can easily organize it if you sort it by name. Some of my favorite tools within Google Photos are their search features. If you don't know, Google Photos is one of the best search features I've ever seen in an app. Um, you can search the word cat and it will come up with every photo that you ever have of a cat. If you type in the word hormone cycle, you will see every single uh, photo with the hormone cycle as well as all of the items within the folder called hormone cycle because it literally cat categorizes those as well. So for me, if I, I'm writing a book right now, so I'm using a lot of all the screenshots I've taken over the past 10 years of information, of classes I've taken. I've uploaded PDFs to Google Photos of different things I've downloaded from courses. I have so much information in my Google Photos, it's actually insane. But because I am a knowledge freak and love, love to organize everything, I have, I use this every day, no joke. I use this every single day. I am constantly, I probably screenshot on average 15 to 20 different things a day, I would say on average. And so I am constantly adding things to this second brain of mine. And I think that's okay. That's how my brain works. Instead of taking notes, I'm not really a note taker. <laughs> I just, I don't really write in a notebook. I screenshot it. And that's just the quick, easy way for me to work. And I can always take text from a photo. One of my favorite tools is called Lens OCR. It's available for Mac. You can screen, you can literally scroll over any photo and it will copy all the text from the photo, whether it's on a website or on your desktop, 
super, super, super helpful. I, I discovered that earlier last year and it's completely changed my life. I love being able to access Google Photos across multiple platforms like my phone, my computer, my iPad. I'm able to have all of them go instantly upload all of my back backlog of content from my personal photos to my business projects to, again, screenshots and that sort of thing. It's so helpful for me. I wanted to end this video with kind of a message about shame. I think a lot of times ADHDers are often told like what they should or shouldn't be doing. And I've been seeing that more and more lately, especially around this topic on TikTok. I've seen you know, multiple videos about this and I'm like, why are we making people feel bad about screenshotting? We already have so much to deal with. Why do we have to make this a bad thing? Like why, like to me, I, I'm strong enough and I've spent so many years on the internet that I'm able to just be like, screw you. Like, I don't want that negative energy in my life. Sure, it might be a sign that you're dysregulated, but aren't we all? We already know that. Why do we have to be reminded? Why do we have to make ourselves feel bad? Oh, I shouldn't, I shouldn't screenshot anymore because that means I'm dysregulated. I'm sorry, I wanna keep the information that I know about in my second brain. And so when that happened, I just said, nope, thank you. I'm gonna keep screenshotting because that is my happy place and I'm gonna continue doing that. I've talked a little bit about on this channel ways that sometimes ADHD content can be very predatory. And this, in my honest opinion, is one of those examples where it's using shame to get people to buy something um, or to just make them feel bad. So for me, I never wanna feel that way. I wanna provide solutions and helpful systems to uh, help you, not to make you feel bad about yourself. Um, that is never ever my intention. And if you don't have a good system and you don't wanna screenshot anymore, that's totally fine too. Again, it's all about what helps you in your journey. This is a journey. I've recently been on a journey both of health and of mental health, health finding out I may be autistic, which I haven't really announced on this channel yet. I'm, I still haven't gone through the diagnosis yet, but that is something that I am learning. I'm learning about my MTHFR gene and how like most ADHDers have it. If you haven't looked into that, highly recommend getting your genes tested. It is so important to know more information about the way that your brain and body works. And all I'm doing and all I want from this YouTube channel is to educate. That is the 100% the goal is to educate and I want this channel to be a place where I'm only vouching for things that I believe in. And I think one of the things that I need to be more strong about is opinions. Um, <laughs> and sometimes I have them. Sometimes I don't share them, but lately I'm like, you know what? I really want to share them. And I think that's important to talk about. So anyway, sorry, I don't want to go off into tangent, but I wanted to talk about screenshots today because it triggered me in a sense where I'm like, wait, why are we making this a bad thing? Let's just talk about ways that we can utilize screenshots. If there's something that you naturally do, just don't fight it. Like, it, that's fine. Like, make it, make it fun. Make it part of your life. Make it a way that you can uh, remember things. Don't let people take away your joy and your fun. So anyways, I do have some trainings and classes on digital organization, but it's up to you. I, I don't push them in this video. I just wanted to mention I do have some more about Notion, honestly. I am potentially gonna be coming up with more Google Photos content because a lot of people seem to be very interested in that as well as they have a lot of questions. So anyways, thanks guys for watching and I'll see you next time.